For today's demonstration, I will be demonstrating how to activate the student account, parent account, and instructor account at CIAS Learning Management System. To start the demonstration, the user must first log in at the school's CIAS Learning Management web page as an administrator. Click the Administrator button at the CIAS login panel, then enter the user ID and user password. After entering the user ID and password click Login button. Upon logging in the system will present the main user interface of the CIAS Learning Management System. Now at the main user interface, I will first demonstrate how to activate student account. Navigate through transaction, activate account, then select student access. Upon selecting student access the system will present its user interface. Now the user must search or enter the student ID that the user would want to activate an account. After selecting a student account, the system will automatically generate a password at the password panel but the user can either use the generated password or can enter a password based on the user's preferences. After the user has finished selecting a password, the user must now click the Activate button. Upon clicking Activate button the system will notify the user that activation of account is successful. With that, we have successfully activated a student account. Now let us try to log Please in the observe as I log account. in using the activated account. At the student login panel enter the student ID and student password. Then click the login button. Upon clicking the login button the system will present its user interface for the student side. After the activation of the student account. I will now demonstrate how to activate the parent account. For the parent account, the same process will be followed. At the administrator side navigate through transaction, activate account, and select parent access. Upon selecting the parent access the system will present its user interface. Now the user must enter or search for the student ID. After selecting a student ID, the system will automatically generate a password, but the user can edit the password based on his or her preferences. After entering a password click the Activate button to activate the account. Upon clicking the Activate button, the system will notify the user if the activation is successful. Now that we have successfully activated the parent account, let us now try to log in the parent account using the credentials that we have created. At the Parent Login panel, enter the user ID which is the student ID and user password. After entering the password, click the Login button to log in the parent account. Upon logging in the system will present the main user interface for the parent side. With that, the demonstration for the activation of the parent account and student account is finished. Now I will demonstrate how to activate an instructor account. For the activation of the instructor account, the user must first navigate through Files, Offerings, and select Instructors menu. Upon selecting the Instructors menu the system will present its user interface. Now the user must search and select an instructor to activate his or her account. The user can either view all instructor's records by clicking the refresh button. Or the user can directly search for an instructor by clicking the search button and inputting an instructor's name. After locating the instructor, the user must select the instructor's record and click the entry button. Upon clicking the entry button the system will fetch the data of the selected record and input it at the instructor's panel. Now at the Instructors panel the user must click the Edit button, then select the Reset Password button. Upon clicking Reset Password the system will present the newly generated password, in which the user must take note of the password. Now after the password has been noted by the user, the user must now click Save button. Upon clicking Save button the system will automatically save the password of the instructor. Now let us try to log in the instructor account based on the password and code of the instructor. At the Instructor Login panel the user must enter the Instructor code at the User ID, and then enter the generated password a while ago. After entering the Instructor credentials, the user must now click Login button. Upon clicking Login button the system will present the user interface for the Instructor side. With that, we have successfully activated an Instructor's account and we also finished our demonstration for today. Thanks for listening and have a nice day.